<laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. <laughs> Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man, Williamson, no bother. I hope so. Hey! Come on, now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me. Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action at Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with him. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. I can't swim, you know. Me neither. But a current like this will carry you for miles. We'll end up on shore sooner or later. Shite, somebody doesn't like us. There's too many of them. Cut the rope. We'll drift down river. Sakes alive. Guess I got up to more mischief than I remember on my last visit to Mexico. All right, I beat this floating tinderbox. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. Well, I'll be buggered backwards. Go to hell, you dumb puzzling bastard! What the hell is going on? Shite up! Welcome to Mexico, Johnny boy! Makes Austin look like Buckingham Palace! It's you or me, friend! Oh, my good lord! I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. Damn, now, Chasers! 
What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recorded it was something to do with money, and possibly some misunderstanding about a fella's daughter, but the details I hope you got Take money for a funeral! Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do? Oh, the big brown eyes. They would. Now the Mexicans know how to make a photo Okay. <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frost. Oh, you're gonna have to punch. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of his stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. You tell me. You must have been called it a few times.
remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on. We'll be on. Oh, my good lord. We made it, thank the lord. I'm quite glad to be getting out of that truck. <laughs> These horses look fresher. <laughs> And healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, Drink with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap, or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man, but not a bad one.